and girls, Professor Vesuvius presents How Volcanoes Erupt. Hello, children. Hello. I'm Doc. I'm Percent Professor Vesuvius. It's tongue twister. I must say, Professor Vesuvius. Yes. Tell us to say it's on the enter intro page. I don't need that for the end of five later. Good. I'm here to tell you, of course, how volcanoes erupt, how, why, where, when, how. Yeah, how everybody wants to put it. Now, a volcano forms by subduction, which is when two plates which are pieces of the Earth's crust, which is the outer layer of the Earth, collide with each other, or run into each other, and one goes under the other and the other goes up. That is pretty much how the volcano is formed, and pretty much the little water spout like thing, yeah, it just goes up through the little section right in between. You may think they're like, ooh, goody, natural fireworks. Now, do you think that you're all okay? Well, you may wonder what is a volcano look like? That is why Professor Vesuvius drew this crazy picture, yeah, of the inside. And yeah. Now, now, come here. You see this? The magma chamber, yeah. It's where the the magma store just like a squirrel, the squirrel stores its nuts, yeah, this magma chamber, yeah, it stores the magma, yeah, and then oxy-daisy, yeah, the vent or central pipe brings the magma up once it's hot enough, and then fissures, there are certain volcanoes, and they give like almost a head start down the mountain down the mountain, and yeah, and the crater, the bull-shaped top, where all the gash and dust and most of the lava comes out in a big explosion of color and disgusting stuff. Yeah, well, you may wonder, how do they actually erupt? Well, it's called the hot spot. It's not a vacation spot, not a very good vacation spot. Well, it's almost like a magma chamber, not attached to a volcano. Now, a hot spot is under the Earth's crust, which is actually almost floating on the magma. So, so a hot spot just sits in there, and then the volcano goes over and boom, boom. That's that place is in trouble, yeah, very badly in trouble, yeah. Now you may wonder what other type, what types of eruptions are there? I listed seven out of quite a few. Stromborium, Volcanian, Vesuvian, Pleian, Hawaiian, Phreatric, and Venian. Yeah, okay, Stromborium sounds like Russian, but believe me, I don't really know that much, but I don't know very much, okay. Well, it shoots clumps of molten lava, it bursts from the crater and boom! Yeah, it just blasts out. It's also a volcano with a dense cloud of ash, gas, gas full of ash. And that uh, friends doesn't it? Ash, gas, gas full of ash. Never mind. Well, it explodes out of the crater high into the sky. Oh, oh. Don't want to go skydiving in that cloud. Okay, well, then there's Vesuvian. Sort of like Vesuvius, like me, all the, all the pump, all the famous mountain that, that covered Pompeii in Asia. Well, it just like discharges huge amounts of gas, gas and ash and lava, etc. Just discharge out of the crater and it makes a cauliflower shape. Do you like cauliflower? I do. Do you like asparagus or black I didn't think so. Okay, Pelean. Pelean. Pelean, Pelean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a large quantity of ash, dust, and gas, 
and blown out of the crater and it goes down the slope. That's almost a hundred miles per hour. Now I'm gonna get that thing a ticket. It'll blow you away. <laughs> Literally, yeah. Yeah, Hawaiian. These are what the Hawaiian islands are sort of like. You know that picture I made? Yeah. Yeah, that picture? Yeah. That is where the features are. Those are the features, yeah. Now, Beatrix. This is when the hot magma or something like that is hit with, with cold ground or water coming in contact with it. You know, your mama's stool, you put the water in, it's so steamy up. Yeah. Now, plinium for explosive injection of lava. It can, it can reach ash tens of miles away. The down, the fall, the downfall or fallout, whatever you want to call it, where the ash falls down, reach hundreds of miles around. Oof, trouble. Oh, yes. Now, quick review. Strombolian, Volcanian, Vesuvian, Pelian, Hawaiian, Theatric, and Plinian. Okay? Okay, you got it? Okay. Now, remember the Kabater, the Fissures, the Vent, and the Magma Chamber. Remember, squirrels pack acorns. So does Magma Chamber with Magma. Okay, ready? It is my straw, we're over! <laughs> It was helped by fly on the wall. Every fly is one dollar. Yeah.